In a comment on a video by Oliver Kralos, someone was wondering what would happen if you pointed the Kinect at a mirror. So I've set up these two mirrored closet doors in my living room. Here you see the Kinect's raw depth samples, which I can now texture and triangulate using information from the camera. There's a lot of noise in the distant depth samples, which is why it looks like my living room is being attacked by a horde of bats. The mirror seems to exacerbate this. There's not normally this much noise. My software attempts to model the sensor noise and account for it, which I've enabled here. Let me go ahead and reconstruct the background. There we go. So you can just almost see me lurking in the distance there. So the Kinect clearly works through a mirror, but what does the mirror do to the depth samples? To find out, we need to change perspective on the scene. Let's pull the perspective around to the side a little. As you can see, the room on the other side of the mirror looks like it's on the other side of the wall, just as it would in real life. If we move behind the wall, you can see that I haven't fully been able to eliminate the Kinect sensor noise in the background. It's kind of mangled. But head on, it looks pretty good. And because I know I'm not the only one that browses YouTube wearing 3D glasses, here's the same scene in Red Cyan Anaglyph. Ooh. Ah. If you'd like to try this at home, the software you're seeing is open source. I've included the URL in the video description. Thanks for watching.